<laughs> Today is gonna be my one year review of being a dad. You know I meant one year of being a human dad. So I am definitely not the cook of the house, but every now and again, I pretend to know what I'm doing. Oh boy, I have no idea what I'm doing. Steak and cheese sliders for the adults, but uh, my little son over here doesn't seem to like it. He just wants a sweet potato. It's okay. Whatever you want, bud. How's that enriched flour taste? It tastes good. I don't know if it'll feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Worry about that tomorrow. Oh! What you doing? <laughs> so when you have a kid, everybody tells you you need all this stuff. Forget it. You don't need any of it. The only thing you need is a nugget. Trust me. So if you aren't expecting first time parent, one of the things you should prepare yourself for is people telling you, well, people tell you a lot of things, but one of the things being all of the things you're going to have to give up and all the things you can no longer do now that you're a parent. And in my opinion, that's just, that's just loser mentality, right? Figure it out. Uh, there's always a way. So the way I look at my days now are before Griffin wakes up, that's kind of phase one. Phase two is during the day, which typically for me is being at work. And then phase three is after Griffin goes to bed. So the before and after, of course, can be filled with your passion projects, all the things that you want to do, extra work. And yeah, you might have to stay up late on a Friday night and knock some of those things out, but it's it's not that difficult. And one of the motivations for making this video is I just found out one of my closest friends is expecting his first child. And I'm so excited because he's the type of person that needs to reproduce. Uh, they, him and his wife are amazing people. They are going to be amazing parents. But I feel like at so often people try to scare you out of it or when they find out they're telling you all these cautionary tales, which I get it, being a parent is the most challenging thing you could ever do. But in my opinion, and I've said this before, I think people blow it up into this thing that they want to portray as unachievable to lift themselves up as it's something they've accomplished. And I just don't think that's the right thing to do. So in this video, I want to put some of you at ease if you are a first time parent or just a parent in general. Nice and slow weekend mornings. <laughs> yeah, real slow. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Griffin, you have too much to drink last night, buddy? All right, I've been tasked to make festive reindeer pancakes for Griffin. Not feeling too good about this. What about you, buddy? Just a mom being a mom. <laughs> Big buddy, Alfie sits. Good boy. Ooh, I think he likes it. All right, so the pancakes were a huge success. I feel like I got some good dad points for that. Now it is nap time, which means for me, it is workout time. So one major change since becoming a dad is everything is much more rushed. You're rushing to get things done in between nap times. You're rushing to make sure that they stay on schedule with their naps and their meals and everything they need. But I think it almost makes you a little bit more efficient, maybe makes you appreciate things more. So I don't have two hours to stay out here in the gym anymore, but I really appreciate that one hour because man, when he was six, seven, eight weeks old, that was uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes at best. So take what I can get. So before we had Griffin, a lot of people told me I was gonna have to give up working out on a daily basis and it wasn't gonna be as important anymore when in reality, it's more important now than ever. How can I set the example if I'm not out here getting the job done, things that need to be done and for every adult in my opinion. But also, again, I think it's a lot of people projecting. They gave up something that was important to them and they feel that it, they'd be inferior if you don't give up the things that are important to you. 
So just pay it no mind. And by the way, this is the perspective of a father being in a very happy marriage where my wife, Megan, is an incredible mother. So if you're thinking about having kids, I would just say, hey, you probably should really think about the person you're planning to have kids with. Because from what I've seen and what I've learned over the last year, I just wouldn't want to try to do this alone. And I know things happen and some things are uncontrollable and sometimes you're put in that position. But think about it. It's the most important decision you're ever going to make. Hey, buddy. Hey. Who's coming? Who's, oh, who's that? Who's that? Hey, boys. Hey, boys. Look how beautiful this family is. Like I was telling you guys earlier, um, if you want to have a kid, you don't really need to have a significant other. I personally did most of everything myself. What? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Maybe the last time you see me in the fun car. We'll see. Starbucks is about the only thing you can pick up in this car. So we got our caffeine. Griffin just went down for his second nap of the day. And as I said, you're a lot of times rushed to get as much done during his nap as you can. And you don't always have time to sit there, make a big meal, eat and do all that. So what do you got going on over here? Little uh, oh, happy, Viking. happy Viking. So we've been lucky enough to partner with Happy Viking on this video. And what's awesome about this is you get 20 grams of plant protein and it also has a full serving of fruits and vegetables. So there's been multiple times I've come down here and I've caught Miss Megan stealing my product. So we want to give you guys the official taste test of Happy Viking. And also fun fact, this was created by Venus Williams, one of the best athletes in the entire world. So it's good enough for her. I guess it might be good enough for me. So the nice part about this, all you have to do, mix in two scoops. Always make a little bit of a mess. That's what your wife wants you to do. And you can mix it with milk, but Miss Megan just prefers it with water. And of course you could use a shaker cup, but I actually like just using this little hand mixer. You can get them for a few bucks and they do a great job mixing everything together. So they are in the matter of what, 30 seconds, we can have a full meal with 20 grams of protein, fruits, vegetables, superfoods, all of that in a delicious shake. And it just saves us so much time and make sure we're getting the appropriate nutrients for you. Bueno. It is very good. You guys will like the taste of that. And especially on the weekends when we haven't had any time to prep any meals, this comes in handy and it helps us stay on track with all of our vitamins, minerals, nutrients. It's a great product to have in your arsenal. Dang, my wife is hot. Did you know that Happy Viking can help with sustained energy, lean muscle, brain power, digestive health, hair, skin, and nails, daily recovery, immune support, and collagen boost? All in one product that tastes delicious. And they also have some other flavors, cookies and cream, strawberry as well as vanilla we haven't tried those yet but if they taste anything like the chocolate i think they'll be really good so if you're interested in getting 20 grams of plant protein as well as all the other benefits we discussed head over to happyviking.com use code travis to save 20 percent off your first order i know we're all trying to get in better shape as we enter the new year and this is one way that you can help get that jump started now i don't want to sugarcoat or downplay anything being a parent is not a walk in the park like i said it's it's gonna be the most challenging thing you ever do personally as well as for your relationship. I mean, you've gotta figure out a new dynamic and as cliche as it might sound, it brings you and your partner closer together than you could have ever imagined. You're literally now one unit uh, living together for the common goal of giving your child the best possible life. And it's beautiful. I mean, I can't even imagine a life without it now. And I think Megan and, and my marriage is the best it's ever been because of Griffin. But of course, like you, you're running on low sleep. Tempers will, will flare sometimes. You're frustrated and you're scared because a lot of things are happening and you don't know what to do. But it's, it's all part of the process. And you will figure it out. One of the greatest joys of my entire life is just watching Griffin shovel in bananas like it's his last meal absolutely obsessed. So fast forward about four hours since that last clip, we just put Griffin to bed and now I am going to start working on some editing as well as getting some work done for the week. As much as I would rather go to bed or lay in bed and scroll my phone, some things we gotta get done. And you just get to this point in the day 
and you're gassed. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You're gonna be tired, um, but that's okay. Um, you know, this is a phase of life uh, that you'll get through and you'll miss these days. I can't even imagine the days where Griffin's gonna be at school all day long and I won't get to see him on lunch or even, you know, whatever happens throughout the day. So I'm gonna embrace it and, and I think everyone else should too. And if I had to give being a parent an overall ranking, I'm giving it a solid 10 out of 10. And I say that knowing that it's not perfect and not all days are 10 out of 10, but overall, it's the greatest experience of all time. And there's gonna be days that suck. There's gonna be days where you don't know what to do uh, because your kid's crying and you don't know how to solve their problem or there's nothing you can do. They're teething, they're sick, whatever. And you feel helpless. But the first time or every time you see them laugh and smile or say something to you if they're at that stage, um, you know, it's, it's all worth it, man. Um, again, I think there's a lot of fear mongering going on when it comes to being a parent and it's senseless. Have your children as long as uh, you have the right partner, of course. And that's it. That's the video. My one year review of being a dad. I love you guys. Talk to you next week.